ओके जी नेक्स्ट थीरी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज मैकलेलैंड मोटिवेशनल नीड थीरी एंड वी वी मे कॉल इट समटाइम मैकलेलैंड एंड मोटिवेशनल नीड थीरी मैकलेलैंड डेविड मैकलेलैंड बेसिकली 1917 टू 1998 वर्कड ऑन दिस थीरी एंड फाइनली ही केम अप विद द बुक दैट इज कॉल्ड अचीविंग द सोसाइटी दिस थीरी हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम दैट स्पेसिफिक बुक फॉर हिम आई हैव मेड एब्रिविएशंस ऑफ दीस थ्री things that are the basic part of his theory one is x x stands for achievement then pope of stands for power or uh, authority and then fl fl stands for affiliation coming to the achievement motivators i ask my students who appear in a1 or as level always i ask them that nothing can motivate you more if you achieve an, an a in your as level you will be most motivated to achieve an a or a star in the a22 because if you have you start if you have started something and you achieve earlier part of that it motivates you like anything most uh, talking about the motivators uh, achievement motivators a person with a strong motivational need for achievement will seek to reach realistic and challenging goals and uh, job advancement Mm. um in in the all scenario there will be a constant need of the feedback regarding the progress and achievement but if he is given a feedback regarding his achievement continuously and the environment in which he is operating is supportive to to achieve that he wants to achieve for example he has made a goal in the organization that goal is going to benefit the organization too and if the organization is supportive towards him to achieve that goal uh, this will motivate him a lot because it will help him to achieve the earlier parts of that and again that 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 can uh, made him working hard towards achieving the later part of that goals too then comes to the authority and power uh, look people are dominant in their nature they want to exercise their authority on other people they want to exercise their learnings on the other people they want other people to learn from their experiences that's why they have some authoritative nature they have some dominant nature and they are only motivated by the authority and power they are given on the other people what organizations do to achieve this need they they give authority to the people over a set of teams and the person can guide that team direct that team teach that team train that team to to fulfill his authority and power motives motivation levels and then we have the affiliation motivators that we have studied in this chapter again and again affiliation motivators are very important that are related to the set of social uh, needs that a human have inside um, uh, himself um, um, he want to become part of teams groups he want to be affiliated uh, with the with the groups of people and that's why they become part of different groups in the organizations too and work itself satisfies the affiliation needs of the people because when people go to work they meet other people they make groups and formal and informal both uh and as a result of that people get motivated um if we look at the organizational structure we will come to know that the the mixer of these three uh, motivators will be uh, working for the organization to achieve the best results the organizations won't be given one level only like they are helping in the achievement but they are not giving the power and authority people will be less motivated but if a mixer of these set up needs is given as a result of that the organizational workers will be more motivated mixer means they will be fulfilling organization will be fulfilling their achievement needs their power needs and their affiliation uh, needs however uh, sometimes the second set of needs that is power needs might not be uh, fulfilled according to the worker's choice and uh, uh, the mixer kind be a little weak in that situation but still um, the organization try to provide these all set of uh, motivators to the employees to make them motivated that was the uh, mcleland motivational need theory